Hi Libra, it's Power Light here coming at you with another reading. And uh, this is going to be your own reading, uh, Libra. Your own your own general reading, right? This is not your own private reading. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure you guys know that, right? And uh, I hope you guys are all well here. And But these energies, Libra, is what I'm trying to say here, is that these energies could still be your persons, all right, showing up in the reading. So please feel free to swap around the characters and the energies, right? Yeah. And this reading may or may not resonate, okay? So just a little heads up here. If you guys don't uh, resonate with this reading, you can also uh, always check my other readings. And with that being said, let's get started, Libra. And from the Lenormand, let's get one last shuffle, is... See what we got for Libra. And we have the Scythe. Okay, so uh, you could be cutting something out, Libra. And this is usually a quick cut. That's typically what the Scythe is, right? It could be an accident. Uh, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but it could be some type of a, a quick cut. It could be an accident. Uh, sometimes this can be a kind of conflict here, but it's typically a quick cut to a situation. The maze is here, or the labyrinth, all right? And this is some type of a confusion here about how to uh, get to uh, either a goal or reach a destiny or also uh, a solution. Mm -hmm. The staircase is here, and that makes a lot of sense, because this is all about a choice here, right, which is like a solution here. <clears throat> but the staircase is, you know, is it going to be door number one or door number two? So there could be two people you are trying to choose from, and in your reading, you are, I feel like you are fearing some type of a deception here. Yeah, with the seven of uh, swords, all right? That's your hopes and fears. The key is here, it's been showing up all day. And the dice, okay, so this is a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a gamble here. And you could be throwing the dice maybe between two people when we see the door, or the doors, as better known as the staircase, right? I keep calling it the doors here because that is what is, uh, the lights are coming out of the door, right? So when you look at this card, you're like, oh, the, the doors. But it is about, you know, walking up the stairs and choosing, making a choice. Yeah, okay. And lastly is the bridge here. And this talks about connections between two people. It can talk about opportunities but it can talk about having to get across the bridge before you can uh, kind of place your hand on the prize or the opportunity. Yeah, it can talk about kind of like obstacles sometimes, right? But these are not uh, huge obstacles, typically, like the mountain. So let's get started. And your overall energy, Libra, is the Eight of Pentacles. So this talks about, it can talk about mastering something. Uh, yeah, and it can talk about like making an effort, right? Like, yeah, it can talk about accomplishments sometimes. Why is the Eight of Pentacles there for Libra? The Strength card in the reverse. And let's see what we have here. The Queen of Wands. One more time. Wow. That's interesting here. Because uh, I feel like uh, either Aquarius is reading. I feel like Aquarius is reading was a uh, Strength card with the Queen of Wands. And Libra, you could be dealing with a Sag or an Aries or a Leo, right? Could totally be. Especially with the Strength card there. Somebody is putting in the work here uh, with somebody here. Yeah, somebody's putting in the work here. This could be you, maybe. Why is that Queen of Wands there for Libra? Three of Pentacles in the reverse here. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be putting in the work with somebody else, and maybe it is. Uh, it could be third party, right? Yeah, we see. Yeah, it could be. It could also be um, something maybe is not working out. There's no teamwork here. Let's find out. The Magician is your crossing energy. Why is the Magician there for Libra? I feel like there's a lot of major arcana in this reading. Two of Cups, which can be kind of a heavy reading, or, right, yeah, um, heavy energy. Eight of, pen, eight of Swords. So you could be dealing with an Aries, right? You could. The Queen of Wands is sitting here. There is a fire sign, I feel, or somebody who maybe is maybe trying to... Uh, kind of like pursue their dreams and somebody who is kind of the independent type, right? But this can talk about, uh, I feel like this is, uh, in your crossing energy, somebody is feeling stuck, right? They don't know how to release themselves from some type of conflicting situation here. They're stuck. They're stuck in the, the swords, the fence of swords, which is kind of like a uh, confliction. It can be emotions here, but uh, it is harsh emotions, like not knowing how to release yourself. There could be an Aries here, but the Two of Cups is the main card here. I feel like it is. And there is some type of a union here that is crossing or challenging you here. The Four of Cups is in the root. It's showing up in the reverse. There could have been past rejection. Why is that Four of Cups there? You could be opening yourself up to opportunities. You could be doing that. Uh, it's possible. 
Five of Swords, yeah, I'm looking at this as uh, maybe past rejection here. Ace of Swords, and one more card, the Tower. Oh, now we have to get one more here. <laughs> and the Four of Wands. Okay, so this is about a union here that there is, I feel like there's some type of manipulation here. Mm -hmm. And the Scythe is here, right? So there could be a quick cut here. Somebody could be, like, uh, dropping the axe here, right? Uh, because there is a gamble here. This can talk about, sometimes you could be dealing with a player here, somebody who kind of, you know, maybe throws the dice and says, well, I'm going to do this now, uh, or, you know, they don't maybe, sometimes it can be about somebody uh, not taking a long time to kind of uh, think about something, right? They just kind of treat things as a gamble, but it is a gamble, whatever it is, okay, when the dice are showing up. The full card is there. It can be about two, two people, right? It can be. Why is that? Because there are two dice. The full card is in the recent past. For Libra, mm -hmm. King of Cups, wow, and the Wheel of Fortune, and this is in the past. Somebody took a leap of faith, possibly to be with the Sag, because the Queen of Wands is here, right? And the Wheel of Fortune is here. So somebody could have took a leap of faith in the past, could have been an Aries. Here you are, Libra, Libra, showing up as the Judge, right, the Justice card. It's interesting because you are the King of Swords, right? So yeah, I feel like there's a lot of attorneys that might be Libras, right? Yeah. Exactly. Or judges, right? And judges are attorneys. Let's get one more card here. And the chariot card. Wow. So, in the past, somebody took a leap of faith. Yeah, they did. They took a leap of faith uh, in love. Mm -hmm. And this could have been you here, or it could have been the other person here. And there could be a water sign with the chariot card. Let's continue. I don't want to put too many cards down because it gets... Wow, okay, the Sun card is showing up here, and this is uh, what is affecting you on a conscious level, and the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups here. So you either know about something, something is super crystal clear to you that somebody else has, that somebody has somebody. Somebody could be making you happy here. Let's get a card on the Knight of Cups. I just feel like you are lacking confidence here, though, Libra. Yeah, strength card in the reverse. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like you are lacking confidence because you know something is a gamble over here with the dice. Yeah. And there is a choice that is being made or somebody has to make, make with the staircase. Mm -hmm. But the bridge is here, I feel like, because this is a gamble, right? The bridge has to be crossed to, like, find out here kind of like, what's at the end, right? What is at the end of the bridge, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like this is this decision is a gamble. Exactly, right? Because the staircase is right here. And there's some kind of, uh, there's something like in the way. The Ace of Cups is showing up here. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is what is affecting you. I feel like you, you could be wanting this here with somebody, and this is why you are the Eight of Pentacles. You could be putting the work in. Mm -hmm. But you could be lacking confidence, maybe. Okay, the moon card is in the near future. It's in the reverse. Why is that moon card in the reverse, please? King of Swords. This is you, Libra. Six of Cups. I just feel like you're uncertain here. Because the moon can be about doubts, right? From fear. From the unknown. Fear from doubts. Doubts from fear. Either. Page of Pentacles. This is in your near future here. I feel like you are, there could be a secret here that has been revealed here. This is, this is also be a water sign. The King of Cups is in the reading, and so is the Knight over here. But, and the Chariot card is here. Mm -hmm. There could be a Cancerian here. I feel like, uh, yeah, there could be a secret that has been revealed here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And this could be making a choice. It could be making something a difficult choice here. Yeah. Yeah, you're trying to make some kind of a decision, Libra. This is what you're trying to do. And you're stuck in the labyrinth about it. Yeah. Some kind of a choice. It is between two people. Mm-hmm. Because somebody has the key to your heart. and But what you are trying to do is find the key to a choice. This is what you're trying to do here. And you know it's a gamble. You know, I feel like you know either, either choice is a gamble here. That could be the case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. And the gamble here is either, I feel like this is, uh, 
Yeah, and you in your choice here, it could be to cut somebody out and to keep somebody. Or it could be that if you make a decision about somebody, you don't know if you're going to get cut. Yeah, or if they're going to leave somebody else out, if they're going to really cut somebody else out. Wow. Mm -hmm. Why is the Ace of Cups here? This is what is uh, affecting you on a conscious level. Some type of uh, stable love relationship here. Like a new opportunity here uh, that is making somebody happy here. This could be... Uh, why is that Ace of Cups there for Libra? Nine of Cups. Wow, this is big time love here. This is big time. Ten of Swords. Yeah, you see? Yeah, okay. So this is a clarification or an illumination. Yes. That there is some type of either betrayal or just some type of a harsh ending. Yeah. And it could be here that you have to, you have to make a cut to somebody here. Yeah, you have to let somebody go. It's possible here. Mm -hmm. And you're making a choice. Yeah, that, I get this reading now. And you are trying to, it's a really difficult choice for you. This is why you are in the labyrinth. This is, this is you somewhere here, right? In the maze. Mm -hmm. Rather call it a maze here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, wow. So in the near future, I feel like you have doubts. There's confusion. The moon is in the reverse. I feel like you have doubts. This could be a secret here, though. But I feel like you were trying to make a decision over here in the near future, but there is some type of fear and doubt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is why the labyrinth is showing up here before the staircase. There is fear about a choice. Mm -hmm. And there is confusion about a choice. Exactly. The star card is how you are seeing yourself. All right. So you're seeing yourself. Let's see. Why does Libra see themselves as the star card? There could be an Aquarius here, maybe, right, Libra? Because the King of Swords could be somebody else. I'm seeing a fire sign for sure, though. Why is the star card there for whoever this resonates? Queen of Swords, yeah, they see there could be an Aquarian here. Wow. So this is how you are seeing yourself here. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Wow. So you could have a star here, and there could be a, a player here, or a fire sign who is showing up in the reverse here. It could be a Leo, right? The Sun card over here, Strength card in the reverse. And one more card is the Page of Swords. You need some more information here. This is why you are stuck in the labyrinth. Yeah, you need more info here about something. Mm -hmm. It could be about somebody having their star here, or it could be about whether or not you want to heal it with somebody. Yeah. And I feel like that's the case here. Maybe about, about both, possibly. Mm -hmm. Because the Gamble card is here, the, the, the dice. Mm -hmm. In the environment is the world card. So there's some type of an ending or a new beginning. This could also be a lesson learned, right? There, right? Yeah, we always learn lessons uh, when we are dealing with situations, no matter what they are, right? You know, just like your mom used to say, uh, practice makes perfect, regardless of what it is, right? Could be something super hard, and you're like, wow, I got it finally, or, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. The world card is in the environment. Let's see. Let's move these cards over here and find out why that world card is in the environment. I like to keep these cards out because uh, mm -hmm, it's going to fit in with the extended. Yes, it is here. Why is that world card in the environment for Li Libra? Why is that world card there? King of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Okay. Um, wow. Okay, there could be a whole bunch of people in this reading. Mm -hmm. And this Ten of Swords is, yeah. Could be a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. And that could, that could uh, and this is why the labyrinth could be showing up. Right? This could be a whole confusing mess because there is more than just, uh, this could even be two separate unions. It's possible. Yeah, it could be. Uh, not two separate unions. Uh, like three. There could be uh, a bunch of players in this reading is what I'm trying to say here. But this King of Pentacles could be, it's possible it is about security and stability, right? It could be. Let's see here. There could be a Taurian in the, in the mix here. But this is in the environment. Why is it here if it's there? Something is ending and something is beginning. Some type of a relationship here. Why is it here if it's there? Nine of Wands. Somebody's guarded here about a situation here. Uh, mm -hmm. Wow. It could be about somebody who just has financial stability, right? Somebody who provides a lot of security. 
But the Seven of Swords is your hopes and fears, Libra. So you definitely know like somebody is... You could be fearing your own behavior, though. It could be, but there is actually uh, there is some type of deception here. Five of Swords, yeah, Ten of Swords, harsh endings. That Five of Swords is like the big deception here. Why is that Seven of Swords there, please? Mm -hmm. The Lovers could be a Gemini, the Emperor, the Aries, maybe. Uh, Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So I feel like you are fearing either your you being deception here, deception, deceptive, right, in a third party. Or you, I feel like you are fearing here, you could be hoping for one, right? You could be hoping for some type of a reunion here. Mm -hmm. Possibly with an Aries, right? We see the full card showing up uh, in the recent past. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. So you are either fearing a third party here uh, that is going to be end up solid here, right? Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Or you are fearing your behavior here, yeah, and that somebody is going to, you know, Somebody's going to have their reunion with somebody else here. Yeah, you, it, it can go either way, hopes or fears. But there is deception here, and there is, like, a new beginning for somebody, like a reconciliation. And we're going to find out over there on uh, on Vimeo, guys, because we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to do the, un the, the outcome of this reading, right? We're going to be talking about the underlying issues, right? And there's a whole bunch in this reading, right? <laughs> and how they really feel about you. Any blocks and maybe how to better navigate those. What they could be hiding from you, right? Or what they just don't want you to know, plain and simple. And what they are fearing. And we gather a lot of information um, for what they are fearing. Thank you so much. If you got a message here, please uh, leave a, give a thumbs up. And all the extensions are super affordable if you want to find out more about your person. And thank you so much, Libra, for watching.